My name is Aaron Lau. Today in this video, I'm going to introduce what Target does and how businesses can use Target for implementing their WeChat marketing strategies and providing customer service through WeChat. Target is a Salesforce native app that connects a company's Salesforce org with the company's WeChat business account. Once the two platforms are connected, businesses will be able to run their WeChat marketing campaigns and offer WeChat customer service from within Salesforce. I will start from the marketing part. First and foremost, I need to create a marketing campaign record. A Salesforce marketing campaign can be used to manage any marketing activity, such as an online webinar, an offline conference, or monthly newsletters. For the purpose of my demo today, I already had the campaign fields entered, so I'll just go ahead and click the Save button. Here I have the campaign record created. It's very common that QR codes are being used extensively for WeChat marketing. As you can see from here, there is no QR code here at the moment. I will go to Target and generate a QR code for this marketing campaign. This is where QR codes are generated. A WeChat QR code can be a permanent one or a temporary one. One service account can have up to half a million active QR codes at any time. For this demo, I will go to generate a temporary one. I need to enter details for this QR code in this pop-up window. I need to give it a name. and select the previously generated campaign record that this QR code is being created for. And it will be expired after 700 hours, which equal approximately a month. I can also choose tags for this QR code, so all WeChat users scanning this QR code will be assigned the selected tags. I would also like to choose an auto-response message will be delivered to the WeChat user after he or she scans the QR code. Such messages can be a text message, an image, a structured message, or a video or audio clip. For this demo, I'm going to choose a structured message. This is the one I'm going to use. Well, everything looks good, and I will go ahead and click the Save button. The QR code was created successfully. Let me go back to the marketing campaign record. The QR code section is still empty as I have now refreshed this page. I will refresh the page now, and as you can see that the QR code sold up. This is the QR code that you can put onto your website, print it on brochures, or distribute through newsletters. The goal is to have as many people as possible scan this QR code and follow your company's WeChat business account. I'm going to scan this QR code from my WeChat app, which you won't see in this video, but you will see a new campaign member after I refresh this window. This campaign member is a contact which is linked to my WeChat profile. After more people scan the QR code, you will see more campaign members from this list. This is a very effective way to generate sales leads and the size of the list measures how well a marketing campaign is being executed. Generating sales leads is step number one. The next step is to do lead qualification. Let me go back to the target app. This is the landing page of one WeChat business account. The account has 147 followers, among them 13 were generated from the past two weeks. There are also two messages awaiting my responses. Next, I will go to the live chat, which is a feature that allows me to have instant interactions with WeChat followers. From this live chat window, I can tell this WeChat follower, who is actually myself, scanned a QR code and sent a message, hi. Here, I can send him a reply. I can also send emojis.
I can send an image. I'm sending him another structured message. I can also send a video or audio clip. It's also possible to send a message from a list of predefined replies. Delivering each message will only take about a second and a half, so it's very quick. From the right side of the live chat window, I can see more details about this WeChat user. His profile photo, his nickname, text assigned to this follower. Remember one of them came from the previous QR code scan. Actually, I only need one tag for this follower, so I will clear those that are not relevant. I can also see other information such as gender, location, and his contact information. The related section shows opportunities related to this follower. If I'm a salesperson, this information should be very helpful. There are also two cases which customer service agents will find very handy to check. There is also a list of marketing campaigns that this follower was involved. The live chat window has three queues. One shows current followers I'm chatting with. The second one shows which have followers waiting for my response. And the third one shows which have followers I previously chatted with. If I'm a customer service agent and I need to log a case for a WeChat customer, I can select a few messages and create a new case from those messages. I'm filling in all the case details. The description field is already populated with my previously selected messages. Alright, the case was just logged. If needed, I can transfer a WeChat customer to another agent by clicking here. After I'm done supporting a WeChat customer, I can close the chat session by clicking this Mark as Done button. Going back to the target menu, let me quickly walk you through what I can do with them. This is where I can see all our followers. There are filters at the top. The Tags tab shows followers under each individual tag. I already introduced the QR codes one. My message is a way to send a group message to all WeChat followers or followers under a specific tag or members belonging to a marketing campaign. The message itself can be of any of these message tabs. I'm going to choose a structured message. I'm ready to send it and click the send button. I got an alert indicating I will use one out of the monthly limit of four. Please note, this limit is applied on the follower level, not on the WeChat service account level. That means I can do this more than four times if the recipients are different. Actually, I will now send it in order to save the limit for this month. This is the message library where I can manage all messages under the WeChat service account. The menu is where I can customize the WeChat menu, which is shown at the bottom of each WeChat business account. It's also possible to create different menus for different followers. So the menu the followers can access can be different, even they are all following the same business account. A WeChat customer entitlement process can be implemented this way. The responses menu is where I can create keyword-based auto-replies. The agent's menu is where I can manage all agents who need to do lead qualification or provide customer service. I hope you like this video. 
If you want to try Target or have any questions, drop us an email at contactus at or follow us on WeChat by scanning this QR code.